Howdy y'all, welcome back to Camshack Productions. Uh, today we are going to be doing another Amazon unboxing video. This is a survival shovel uh, that I found on Amazon. Um, and it has a shovel and an ax and it is the, the Sun Coon. Um, sorry, I needed to wait until I actually had it uh, in front of me so that I, I could remember the name. Um, but on the box, it's for camping, hiking, driving, fishing, hunting. Um, so this is an all-in-one survival shovel. Uh, and I thought that it is, it is about 70 bucks, but it is not bad so far. I mean, uh, I'm pretty stoked that it's actually in its own little bag. Um, um, so it's got a handle, it's got some sort of straps. Uh, it is heavy. Um, it says that on the website, it says that it weighs two pounds. Um, I am definitely going to say it weighs more than that. Um, it is probably about three and a half pounds. Uh, when I get home, I'll put it on a scale so I can give you guys the exact weights. Um, so the zippers do fully unzip on this thing, which is really nice. Uh, and then when you open it up, you have the good old kit here. So uh, one of the things I did read on Amazon is to make sure that you open it up and check and make sure that you have all of the parts and pieces. Um, so that is the first thing that I wanted to do is just make sure. Uh, all right, so let's get started. Very first thing that I find in here is this little handle uh, and it looks like this is an actual fire starter. Um, and it just kind of screws into place. Um, at least that's my assumption is that that's a, a fire starter. All right, this is the main shovel section. Um, it does fold quite easily and quite nicely. Uh, and I have to say, just by having it in my hand so far, uh, it feels pretty robust. Um, it, it, the body handles feels kind of like a mag mag like consistency um so it does come with its own carry case just for the shovel so you don't have to carry the whole kit which is nice um and there you go so on this side you have your wrenches right here uh this is a blade uh and just by running my fingers over it it's fairly sharp um and then you have your saw right over here. So these are your bolts. Um, you've got your knife blade, which again it is, it's, it's pretty sharp. And then on this side, it is a saw. Um, and again, so far, you know, feels, feels pretty solid. Um, so you could screw in your handle, which also does have uh, a compass on the end of it so that you can check that thing out uh, and the compass does work but you have to take it off of the shovel it won't work on the shovel so shovel end piece with compass um geez it looks like all this stuff might undo and redo um and then in here you have a handle Step one handle. Uh, there will be a space for an extra piece of handle that you can order, uh, but it, it won't be in your actual kit. So you can order another one of these to give yourself extra length if you'd like. Um, but these pieces just screw together. Then you can take that, screw it into this, and we'll find out. Um, if there's even more pieces but i would say that you know i have a little shovel on the side of my rig uh it's a bigger blade but it's about this length so you could definitely do some work and the shovel's heavy enough to be able to give you a little a little oomph while you do it um so i think so far pretty good i mean you know that's a that's a good size shovel for something that comes in a pack a little kit like this ah and we got another extension pole here so it will get even longer and again like i said so that's uh let's see one two three extension pieces um and you can get a fourth 
Uh, I don't believe that there's any more extension kit pieces in here, uh, but you do have a couple extras. Uh, this is a fishing spear um, that you can actually screw into the end of this, where the fire starter is. So you can replace the fire starter um, and you can screw in Oh, no, I'm wrong. That has to screw into something different. But since I did undo the fire starter, there's also a whistle in there. Um, yeah. So there's that little piece. I can fill another one in here, too. And then, oh, look at that. It's a, uh, it's a little knife blade. And then the last piece, but let me make sure that I... Ah, there's a screwdriver that you can probably put in where the uh, whistle piece clips in. And then the last piece that it comes with is this hatchet. Um, so all of the same extension tubes that you can use for the... Uh, the shovel, you can also use with this hatchet. Um, and again, I mean... When it comes to a hatchet, I don't know how solid this thing is going to be. You know, it's got two Allen bolts that hold it onto the handle here. Um, there's two little bolts, and I think that that's going to give you an issue after a time. It looks cool. It's got a nice little hammer on it. Um, and when you have the sheath on, the hammer piece is still exposed. So you could actually hammer in a, a tent stake and not have to worry about the sharp blade, um, which it is very sharp coming back and hitting you in the face. Um, so again, you could just switch out. Switch that out. Take your shovel piece off. Sorry about the wind, guys. It's going to be a windy one tonight. Whew, it's going to be chilly. Uh, but that gives you a pretty good axe head, actually. Oh, I gotta grab stuff. Be right back. Don't want to be a, a bad steward of the woods. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, it is definitely picking up. But you, uh, you can see, you've got a pretty good handle. And then you could even shorten it up um, and make it a smaller handle. So you have the three extensions, the shovel piece. Um, and I will show you... Just really quickly, that these do spin in. So you have your your knife blade there. Um, so you know you could definitely try to do some spear fishing. It's not very long, um, and then you know I guess if you separate it out. The one handle, um, you could use this as a knife. I don't know how solid it would be. Uh, it has a good serrated blade. Uh, it's got a fish scaler in it, um, and it's a very sharp knife with a bottle opener. So I think overall, my first impressions are, uh, this thing feels pretty good. Um, you know, I think we'll, we'll do a little testing with it here. Uh, we'll, we'll dig a little bit. Um, and we'll also try to split a little wood for tonight. Um, but I think overall, I'm going to give this a pretty solid mark. Um, and I mean, you know, again, it's not a $15 shovel that you're buying on Amazon. It's about $70. Bucks. Um, but, you know, for something that packs down, this would be super easy to throw in the back of your car. Um, it would be really nice to be able to just kind of 
you know, have this. So I think uh, this is a good little little kit. Now we're gonna put it to the paces and see if it holds up. Um, that's where it will really come in. But just my general overall sense so far is it feels pretty dang good. So yeah, we'll give it a shot and see what we think, huh? All right, well guys, I can tell you this. It definitely shovels. And as you can see, I'm hitting a ton of roots. Um, I mean, this thing would be, again, really great to just have in the back of your car um, or in your camp bin, because once you break it down, it's a pretty low profile. Uh, it should also make a decent pick. One thing I did find is that it's reverse threaded. So when you go to tighten this end, make sure that you grab onto the handle down here. Otherwise it'll uh, untwist. See? So you gotta tighten your handle while holding the shovel grip, tighten everything else just by twisting. But I mean, that to me seems to do a pretty darn good job. Um, I mean, I'm definitely going to give, look at that, it just tears it up. Um, but I think for the digging portion, and you know, again, you can shrink the handle down, change the size how you need to, but thumbs up, works great, man. Uh, it feels really solid in my hands, so we'll see if it feels the same when we use the hatchet here. But shovel, check. Let's test this axe. What do you guys say, huh? So it's nice. There is, uh, I have a hatchet that's very small. So whenever you do anything with it, it's uh, got such a short handle that you have to put it in and then use something to bang it through because there's no, not enough leverage. Um, with this though, you get quite a bit of good leverage. Let's see. Horrible strike. Do not think it will split that giant piece of wood. Not like that anyway. Oh, but it will do that. So, okay. Did you guys see that? So as I'm hammering with this ax, if you put any kind of torque on it, the grips come undone. So it keeps, <laughs> twisting undone so I don't know um, I mean it looks cool right it's a super cool shape um, the hammer could be useful these little rivets there's two rivets right here that hold this axe head in and it just feels flimsy unlike the shovel which feels really solid uh, I can already feel the hatchet blade like it's wobbling in there already um, so this might be a better like small uh, kindling style hatchet rather than a try to split uh, massive logs now again I wonder if you could do that uh, same principle hit and bang so you can make your kindling that way um, but yeah I definitely don't see this thing as like a, a chop through it kind of axe I mean it definitely does some work Yeah, that's what I thought. So, first, so that it's it's uh, it's just too thin. Um, there's a little, 
that thing just snapped right off right there. Um, I put a little bit of side torque on it and it just broke off. So, you know, that's what I was worried about. So the shovel, definitely, if you can get just the shovel without the ox piece, I would recommend that. Um, that is gonna have to go back for sure. So I wanted to put it to the test. I didn't want to break it, but I wanted to make sure that it actually did it. And I mean, you know, look, it barely didn't do a whole lot to the wood. So ax fells, shovel passes with flying colors. But that yeah, happens, right? All right, something else I want to show you guys. Uh, as I was doing that, apparently the button compass out of the top also popped out um, and now it just falls out. All right, everybody. So overall, uh, the Sun Kuhn Shovel Survival Axe Combo is a no-go in my opinion. Um, if you can't find just the shovel alone, do not buy this kit. It's not worth the 70 bucks if that if the axe is gonna break within the first use. Um, if you can find just the shovel and it's like around 40 bucks, and if I see it, I will put a link in the description. Um, I think this shovel is fantastic. I'm really excited. It's got a nice long handle. Uh, I was at an outdoor store just the other day and I saw uh, kind of a cheaper folding shovel. Uh, it's like the triangle military style folding shovels. Um, and it was like 90 bucks. So I think this actually would do a better job. And I'm excited to have this shovel in my kit. Uh, it will live there. I will keep it in the Nissan all the time, um, just in case I get stuck in the snow or I ever need it, you know? It's really great. It breaks down into that small little package. So I think overall the Sun Kuhn shovel, awesome. Don't get the kit though. Um, you guys, if you have any suggestions of some gear you'd like to see me test out or anything that you think would make an awesome addition to my kit already, please leave a comment down below. I want to keep testing some of this stuff. I enjoy doing it. It's fun to get out here and see what I can do, see what I can break. Um, so let me know if there's something you think I really need to test or if there's something you think needs to go into my kit. Leave that comment down below. Um, if you're enjoying these videos, please, please, please help us go down and hit the like button. That's how YouTube knows to send our videos to other people so that maybe they can watch me do something like snap a hatchet head off. Um, but please hit that like button. And uh, if you're feeling super generous, hit that subscribe. We're really trying to get to a thousand followers and we'd appreciate it if you joined us on this journey. I really hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next week with some new adventures or some new gear. Uh, and until then, be well, my friends.